Good morning everyone and welcome to the Higher Education Open event. In this session we are going to be looking at accountancy, human resources and management courses. We have the tutors on hand to answer your questions but first a short video to guide you through the subjects. Sit back and enjoy and if you have any questions feel free to type them into the Q&A section and we'll answer them afterwards. Hi there, my name is Claire Eccleston and I am the Programme Manager for the AAT, the Association of Accounting Technicians. We run all three levels of the AAT qualification here at Hereford and in particular the Professional Diploma. This is a level four qualification and sits under higher education. The course is run over one day a week Tuesdays, usually starting in September and finishing at the end of July. The cost is approximately £2,500, which includes all materials and resources, as well as the cost of the examinations. The only other cost to yourselves is becoming a member of the AAT, which is the professional awarding body. Students are eligible for the advanced learner loan to help fund the qualification if it's needed. You will study a variety of subjects incorporating complex accounting techniques and team leader skills. The subjects will include both management and financial accounting as well as options such as personal and business taxation. You will also master the art of drafting financial statements, managing budgets and evaluating financial performance. The jobs you could get after achieving this qualification are for example assistant financial accountant, senior finance officer or assistant management accountant. This can be at a small local accountant here in Hereford or a larger multinational company like KPMG in London or even possibly further afield. This qualification has international status and its reputation means that it's widely respected and recognised in all employment sectors across the globe. You could even work for yourself. You will graduate at the end of the course at a graduation ceremony at Hereford Cathedral and will achieve MAAT letters after your name. The course has a formal delivery style where six exams are taken over the course of the year. These exams are computer based with a high level of numeracy required as well as very good analytical skills. All six exams need to be passed before the qualification is gained. Progression from this course can lead to ACCA or SEMA and is an excellent stepping stone to this high level of accountancy and all the time studying in a relaxed environment with like-minded people at Hereford. The tutors on the course have worked for over 20 years with the AAT and are dedicated to the qualification and the benefits it can bring. We pride ourselves in being friendly and approachable as well as securing very good pass rates. The entry requirements are the Level 3 Advanced Diploma in Accounting, other relevant qualifications such as A-levels or a degree. You do not need to be working in an accounting environment to complete the course but it does help if you have a flair for and enjoy numeracy as well as a keen analytical mind. If you would like to apply for this professional diploma, please go to the Hereford and Ledlow College website, follow the link to courses, then higher education, then accounting, where you will see the professional diploma. Your application will come through to meet Claire and we can then arrange a telephone or face-to-face -face chat. I hope this has sparked an interest in this course and I look forward to receiving your inquiry. Thank you very much for listening. If you really want to get on in HR, this Level 5 Intermediate Course in HR Management is the one for you. The Chartered Institute of Personnel and Development, the CIPD, is the leading body setting the standards for HR in this country and across the world. Its HR and People Development qualifications are internationally recognised and means that practitioners are principles led, evidence based and outcomes driven. This helps to ensure that you as an HR professional become a trusted and valued member of your organisation that is seen to make work generate value for everyone. This level 5 course is a way of getting a real understanding of why HR professionals do what they do. It gets underneath the day-to-day -day procedures and policies and helps explain why you do things the way you do. It brings together HR theory and practice and will give you the confidence to go back to your workplace and help make positive changes to the way everyone works. The eight modules we do will provide a good generalist knowledge that will become the foundation for your further career development and many of the students who complete it 
go on to become senior HR leaders in their industries. We look at what it means to be an HR professional, how to develop yourself and others. We put HR into a business context so that you can see where HR should be operating in your organisation. Coaching and mentoring will help you and your line managers manage better. Employment law, which underpins a lot of what we do, is a major module and will help you understand better how you can use the law to make better decisions. We also explore approaches to resourcing and how you can add value to your organisation by having better performance management. This one year part-time course will establish you as an expert in your field in HR and you will be seen as someone who really adds value to your organisation. You'll become a member of a professional community of like-minded people as part of the CIPD. So visit the CIPD website today and see what you'll be joining. If this sounds like the course for you, go to the college website, look at the information we have there, then send me an application. I will get back to you. I really look forward to hearing from you soon. This Chartered Management Institute, CMI, Level 5 qualification is aimed at practising or aspiring managers and leaders who are typically accountable to a senior manager or to a business owner. The primary role of any practising or aspiring manager and leader is to lead and manage individuals and teams so that you can deliver the aims and objectives in line with your organisation's business strategy. Your role and responsibilities may also include developing teams and individuals and creating operational plans. You might be planning and managing projects. In these difficult days, you may also be managing significant change that will affect a large number of your colleagues and need good communication and people skills. All managers at some time also manage finance and resources and very often have to identify new approaches to business and activities. The qualification has been designed for managers in roles such as operations, divisional managers, department managers, regional managers or any specialist manager. This one year part-time course will give you the foundation you need to develop an effective career as a manager and leader in an increasingly competitive environment. It combines theory and practice and helps you develop the management and leadership skills that are so vital in today's business world. You will become a member of an internationally recognised professional management institute, the CMI, and be able to join like-minded colleagues both in person, at local and national events and online. It also gives you access to a wide range of learning and development resources. The eight modules we do also form part of the apprenticeship for operational and departmental managers with all the content mapping across to the apprenticeship standards. The managers who complete this course all say how much they got from it, how much they learned and what they were able to take back to their employer. It also enhanced their employability and many got promoted into more senior positions. If this qualification sounds like the one for you, look at the CMI website to see what the Institute can offer you. Then make an application to do the course through the college website here in Hereford. On receiving your application, I will get in touch and we can discuss your particular needs. I look forward to hearing from you. So, do you have to attend every week and every lesson? Um, once you come on the course, I'm sure you won't want to miss a lesson at all. And there is a correlation between attending and passing. But if, for example, you're ill and can't be avoided or your children are ill or you have to work, that's not a problem. You can catch up with the work as it's all on the VLE uh, and you are issued a week by week scheme. So you know in advance what you miss or know in arrears what you miss. So it's not vital, but I wouldn't plan on missing, say, you know, one day a month. Brilliant. Um, OK, um, so what happens if, say, they failed an exam? Can you resit? Um... You can. Uh, and it is possible that you might fail an exam at this high level, but there is some flexibility for resits. Uh, you don't have to wait a whole year. 
and we can almost call exams on demand. But of course, hopefully you won't fail and you're going to stay with the rest of the group and move along together. Thank you. Um, so c can they go on to study ACCA or CINA? Yes, they can. It's actually the first level of those courses. So if someone intends to go right to the top to be qualified ACCA or SEMA, that is the first stepping stone. So it's actually a very good stepping stone and it's a cheaper way of doing ACCA or SEMA for just the first year. Brilliant. Um, OK, so what if I am unable to sit an exam on the planned date? If perhaps my child is ill, is there a chance to sit it again? Yes, there is. For example, you know, there's no need to stress if your car breaks down on the way to the exam. It's not like, say, traditional exams, which are only offered once or twice a year. We can actually pull down the exams on demand. So hopefully that removes the stress of, you know, what if I miss one day if I'm ill, for example, or if the children are ill. Um, yes, that can be done. OK, fab. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Because we haven't actually got any more questions at the moment. Uh, no, just hopefully that sparked an interest in accountancy. It's something I enjoy and uh, possibly speak to you soon. Brilliant. Thank you, Claire. Thank okay. you. Um, moving on to Alistair. Right. Um, so if I direct some questions more at the human resources first, if that's all right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, so how many assignments are there and what do they consist of? Right, well, the uh, level three, there are six uh, modules. Um, again, it covers things like employee relations, general HR, uh, performance management, um, learning and development, all the things that a generalist uh, would be interested in. Um, it's a foundation course, um, so we cover a very, very wide range of topics within those six modules um, because it is really an introduction into the profession. Brilliant. Um, and one question is, do I need to be a member of the CIPD to do this course? Uh, you will have to join a little bit like um, Claire said. Uh, you have to join the Institute because of the CIPD, the Chartered Institute of Personnel and Development. Um, it is a professional course and you are able at some future date, not at level three, but to go on and become a chartered member, which is, you know, which is, it's a proper profession. Um, so yes, you do have to join the CIPD, but the CIPD have a lot of benefits and I will sell their, um, them as an institute. They are very, very good. They're very active and I recommend even if you don't know anything about them now um, and you're interested in this particular course, go onto the CIPD website and just find out what HR is about um, because there are a lot of uh, misconceptions out there. But it is a foundation course at level three and so if you haven't uh, been involved in HR, this is now your opportunity to get started. Brilliant. Um, so if we can move on to the management and leadership course. Don't forget the level five. Don't forget the level five. The level, yeah. Um, oh, you want me to talk about that just a bit? Yeah, yeah if okay. you could. The, yeah. the level five, the level five again, as I, as I said in the, in the first part, um, there are eight modules. This is a more academic course. Um, you need to do the level five uh, diploma uh, really to get on into any sort of HR management role if that's what your intention is. Eight modules, uh, 4,000 words each. Sounds quite daunting but once you get into it um, it becomes a lot easier. You can't afford to miss much, um, a little bit like Claire said. Um, if you do miss something it's not the end of the world but if you miss a significant number of uh, sessions and they are only held weekly on a Tuesday evening, but if you do miss something, then you are going to struggle with keeping up. Uh, so you have to uh, you have to attend. We again we cover more or less the generalist uh, topics, um, things like employment law, and within the employment law module, we have normally, apart from this year, we've generally managed to hold uh, a mock tribunal, an employment tribunal, with the local solicitors. Um, which has proved to be a very interesting event uh, and one which people learn a lot in. Um, so yes, the level five CIPD um, diploma um, is a first class course. Brilliant, thank you. OK, so um, we've got some questions for the CMI management and leadership, the extent of the level five. Um, when are the workshops and tutorials run? 
Yes, they're not quite as frequent. We generally run a full day workshop once a month. It's, it's on a Friday. Uh, we start at nine, finish about four o'clock. Um, I then hold um, tutorials about two weeks later uh, for anyone who wants to come along, spend a couple of hours um, going through stuff that they didn't quite understand or pick up on the actual workshop day or talk through things. Uh, and it's very much a one to one. If small groups want to come back uh, and have a tutorial, a group tutorial, that's fine. But very often it's a one to one and people find that quite valuable. I'm available by email. I provide a lot of um, material, learning material. Uh, there is material available through the um, CMI. So it's a combination really of input from myself in terms of the workshops, which are very interactive. You get a chance to talk, discuss with other people, um, benefit from some of the um, experience that I've had. Um, and then you need to put in some of your time doing the research, um, looking online, using the CMI, using the facilities of the college. It has an extensive library with a good business section uh, and you, you just need to put in the work. But there is plenty of support for people, even though we only meet formally about once a month. Brilliant, thank you. Um, so how is each module assessed? Um, it's assessed uh, against a cri the criteria. Uh, each module is set by the um, CMI. Uh, they determine what the questions are of each assignment and there are assessment criteria against each part of the uh, of the module uh, of the of the assignment. Um, so you send in the assignment to me and I mark it against that particular set of criteria um, and you know, if you pass it first time, that's absolutely fine. Um, if there are some elements which you haven't quite met the uh, requirements to, then you'll get a referral. Um, you only get one referral, so you do have to get it right the second time. But again, I am available for support and uh, tutorials. Um, but most people find that um, what is what is provided gives them enough um, information and enough um, things to draw from to pass the each assignment most of the time first time they don't really need a second go at it brilliant um so we have one last question does this qualification contribute directly to the leadership and management apprenticeship uh, yes we're now using the cmi's apprenticeship pathway uh, they changed um, or they brought this qualification in a couple of years ago uh, because there were more people doing apprenticeships. So if you are on the apprenticeship, the leadership and management apprenticeship course, then this actual qualification forms part of that. Uh, and you have the opportunity if you're doing that apprenticeship to come along and, uh, and join this particular course uh, as part of that apprenticeship program. Thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the courses just as we're coming to the end? No, I think I've I think I've probably covered, covered it. it. As I say, yeah. the best thing to do is for people to get onto the uh, website, um, send in an application uh, and we'll get back to people on a one to one to one basis because then people can ask about their individual needs and requirements um, and we can tailor whatever we want um, to their particular needs. Brilliant. Thank you. OK, um, so that is all for the questions and hopefully everything has been answered. Um, we'll post it on our social media channels, website. And if you have any queries, feel free to comment on our social media or email or, or contact the college and we'll get the questions answered. But for now, thank you for watching.